There are several ways to go about customizing your WordPress themes. You can either hire somebody from Scriptlance or rentacoder.com or any other freelance site. Should cost you no more than 10 to 20 dollars from what I'm about to show you. Or you can follow this video step by step. We're going to edit pieces of the WordPress themes, such as the header, the footer, and other areas. So with that said, let's go ahead and go to the WordPress administrative dashboard. Right now, I want to go to the design tab. So I'll go ahead and click on design here. And then we'll edit the specific theme. To do that, you want to click on the theme editor. Now, before we start to edit the themes, well, one thing I want to make sure that you know, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, it says you need to make this file writable. Right now, the file is not writable. To do that, you need to open your FTP program and change the permissions, or you can use cPanel's file manager, whatever suits your boat. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open FTP Surfer, which is what I use. Any FTP client is good. Go ahead, open the FTP client, and find your location. Okay, so I found the vid test folder here, and I found the WP content, and then themes. Then you'll want to find the name of that specific theme, which is right now it's called thermal. So we have thermal there. So go ahead and open the folder. Now it depends on what files you want to edit. In this case, I just want to edit the header and the footer. So we see here, we see the header, which is header.php, and the footer, which is footer.php. So we'll go ahead and go to footer. You want to click on that. And then I like to press control on my keyboard and then press header so I can choose two different files at the same time. Right click that, change permissions, make sure that they're readable and make sure that all are writable. You want to change this back later but we'll go ahead and press OK. Because right now they're secured because they're not writable. So what you want to do is you want to refresh this page. You can refresh by clicking the refresh at the top or clicking F5. Now if we go to the header, we'll notice that there is an update file button. That makes it writable. So basically you can go in there and edit whatever you want to edit and then click update. First, I'm going to start with a footer just because that's easier. If I start with a footer, you can sort of see it a little better. I'll open the footer and I'll open the actual blog. So this is the blog that we're looking at. One thing to note is that some WordPress blogs don't allow you to take off this copyright here. Especially it's a free press blog that's uh, created, the theme is created by somebody else. Now, if you get a WordPress blog theme that allows you to do that, you can take this stuff off. So that's one thing to look out for when you are choosing WordPress themes is the footer. Now, I'm going to show you in this case how to add to the footer. Let's say, for example, that I want to add the copyright for this site here. To do that, I want to go back to the dashboard and go to that editing area and you'll find copyright as you can see 2008 blog name all rights reserved now you don't need to know the code per se but you need to know a little bit about how this works uh, this starts with a p tag which is a paragraph tag and then it, you notice that it starts off there and it ends with a p tag slash so what you want to do is just add stuff to the end of the p tag so let's say that our domain name is buildmusclequickly.com okay and if you'll notice here it says ampersand mbsp colon what that is is just a space so you'll want to put at least one of those 
or two of those before your domain name. Once you do that, simply click on update the file. And we'll go to the actual theme and uh, take a look at that. We notice that it says buildmusclequickly.com. So great, we've uh, updated the footer. If you want to update the header, just go to header. Now let's say for example that you want to add your URL to the bottom of the header, like below the description. So what you can do is go here and find the description. Notice there's a div tag for the header and the logo has here. So what you want to do is you want to add something here. You'll need to add a break. So it looks like this. BR slash like that. You can just copy that and put it in there. And then put in your domain name, build muscle quickly.com go ahead and click on update file so that's a brief overview of how to change your theme templates and uh, don't forget you want to make sure that it's not updatable or not writable and you want to go back to FTP surfer right click on those files that you changed take off the right permissions press OK just so that it's not writable on the outside. And then once you do that, if you're successful, you'll see you need to make this file writable.